Best looking front end a Saab has ever offered. Just doesn't get old, guys. Nice little cold start for you. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pances. If it's your first time, please be sure to smash the subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. The channel has grown significant uh, in a significant amount of ways in the past year. So we want to continue the projection that we are on. But today I'm just going to do a quick review. There's a 2004 Saab 95 Aero. And uh, in the last couple episodes ago, I did some I did a video reviewing some major upgrades you can do for performance on your Saabs and in today's episode I'm going to kind of do a review and discuss some of the things you can do to your suspension to your Saab to upgrade it and make it seem a little bit better than what it is stock. So let's hop into it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Alright guys, so the Aero and non-Aero Sobs have a little bit of a different feel in their suspension. Obviously, the arrow is a little bit sportier, um, but that has something to do with not only the um, sway bar, sway bar that goes across the suspension, but it also has something to do with the shocks and the springs. Obviously, the arrow packages have a little bit sportier uh, Bilstein uh, strut, struts and shock springs in the car, making it a little bit stiffer and, of course, lower to the ground. But in this video, we're gonna just kind of touch on some of the things that can go for both an, a, a non-aero Saab and of course an aero spec Saab. Kind of goes mainstream across the board because obviously like I just mentioned, both have a little bit of a different spec and ride feel. Starting off with just the rims of a non-aero, usually if you have uh, thinner, lower profile tires, you're gonna experience a little bit of a different ride feel in the car versus one with uh, meteor uh, sidewalls to the tire, lower profile tire rather, high and low profile. Um, so that's a, a big difference there. So if you have 17, 18 inch rims to your Saab, you're gonna notice a significant ride feel change. So if you have, you know, 16 inch rims to your Saab, maybe you upgrade your rims to 17 or 18 inch, Put Saab rims on there that will change the performance and the handling already immediately you'll notice a difference to the car's feel on the road it's gonna be a little bit stiffer a little bit more grounded to the road and of course um, in some cases maybe allow the car to look a little bit slicker than what it does with the current stock setup that you have so that's just rim and tires right there off the bat with your Saabs uh, going into the rear suspension on these things, uh, especially the 9.5, these cars are known to have what they call a trailing arm, a trailing control arm in the rear. And uh, it kind of sits like this on the rear suspension and it hooks to the frame of the car and then hooks to the bottom of the uh, wheels, the, the suspension. And of course, inside or on, on that trailing arm, there's bushings that move up and down with the road. And of course, if the bushing is bad, then that means that rubber is worn out, allowing the bushings to start to make other movements it's not designed to do, which could cause a lack of performance and handling to the car. And of course, on the 9.5, if you don't have one, uh, as they age, those bushings can start to creak and rattle. And of course, that uh, is definitely annoying. Definitely annoying when it's cold weather outside. When it heats up, obviously rubber expands, so that sound goes away. Um, so if it's happening to your Saab in the rear, especially on the 9.5s, that's the solution there is an update, upgrade to the bushing, trailing arm bushing, lower control arm. It's called a poly polyurethane bushing you can replace it with. And of course, that's gonna allow it to be much stiffer and a little bit better handling and of course it gets rid of all of those creaking and rattling experiences you may have in your Saab. So this car thankfully does not have it. Um, we got this car around 200,000 miles or just shy of 200,000 miles if you haven't been following the build on this car um, and I would suspect that those have been finished and completed already previous to us picking up the car. Only reason why I'm mentioning it and I know it is because it's 35 degrees right now and we don't have any rattling or creaking going on in the back of this car, which is freaking amazing, which is sometimes why a higher mileage car is better to buy because some of these things have already been gone through and of course, you're already paying for a depreciated car. So, 
that's the rear. Obviously, you can do uh, a, a, you know a shock a shock brace on the lower uh, lower part of the suspension. Of course, you can go towards the top as well on top of the struts if you're really really into uh, performance and uh, tracking the car and really eliminating that body roll in the back. But let's stick to the basic stuff. You know, the easy things that you can spend a couple hundred bucks and upgrade and still feel a difference in the ride quality of your car. So that's the rear uh, is the is the trailing arm, lower control arm, trailing arm on the Saab 95. I think the 93s have them too, but just a little bit of a different design. Uh, but we're focusing on the 95 here. So polyurethane bushings there. Let's go to the front. You guys have watched me rebuild this car and another 95 last year. About a year ago now, actually, we did another 95 2003 Aero. The subframe bushings, those tend to go bad. Those were, you know, under engineered components to these cars for some reason. Uh, so if you have rattling in your subframe, you're going to notice it driving over bumps. You're going to notice it in turns. You can feel the creaking and the rattling. And sometimes, if it's really bad, you're actually going to hear a lot of knocking noise. All of that stuff can cause engine leaks uh, from oil and all sorts of other issues arise from that. So polyurethane bushings upgrade there, $50 parts. I can link those below. And I also have done a couple videos on it since we've done it twice now. I did it on this one and on the other one I was just mentioning from last year. You guys can check out those two videos. I think the first one I went a little bit further in depth since it was my first time doing the video. But that right there, changing those subframe bushings is a poly polyurethane bushing. It changes, again, the ride feel in the front, makes the car, again, feel much more grounded to the road and a little bit smoother uh, when you're driving it around. Really nice touch. And that's just to the subframe bushing. So imagine if you do other things such as this. The next upgrade you can do to the front bushings Pushing wise on this front suspension is the sway bar links have a bushing on the bar so that you have the links which you can upgrade as well by the way to a performance link but also on the sway bar you have sway bar bushings that mount on top of the subframe that kind of hold that sway bar in place and as those age on the original rubber you'll hear knocking noises as well when you're going over little bumps in the road or divots in the road you can hear you can hear that sway bar knocking around but if you upgrade upgrade to polyurethane sway bar bushings again that's going to stiffen out the ride feel in the front suspension decrease some body roll and again eliminate a lot of the creaking and rattling noises you may experience with aging bushings in the front of your suspension again a pretty inexpensive part if you guys can do the labor yourself it's also really not so bad you have two bolts that are mounting the bracket on the sway bar to the subframe you just kind of loosen them I think you take one completely out and loosen the other one and it kind of lifts up and you know moves out of the way you can go ahead and upgrade those a little bit of patience could be a little uncomfortable under there it's a little tight obviously on the 9.5 I think it's worse on the 9.3 if you're on a 9.3 you might actually have to remove the subframe a little bit meaning take down the bolts and actually create the space to get in there but again we're focusing on the 9.5 the same concepts go across to other models so that's the sway bar bushings you got the sway bar links and you have also the subframe bushings. so nice upgrades there and that's to the bottom of the car if you guys want to take it one step further and you go to the top of the engine on top of the strut bars or excuse me on top of the struts is you can get a strut mount across on the 9.5 might take a little bit of a special engineered item that is for sale on the aftermarket's parts you can link a couple of them below as well but you mount that to the top struts instead of the caps that are there put it in place and that's going to also eliminate some body roll these are some just nice touches the bushings are all fairly inexpensive uh, if you could do them yourself it's really cheap maybe a hundred or two hundred bucks max 300 bucks and if you have to pay some labor then obviously that can that can multiply out significantly if you if you got to pay somebody for the labor um, personally speaking I've done everything on the front suspension I've never personally done the rear sway bar or excuse me the rear trailing arm bushings I've paid a shop to do that uh, still wasn't that expensive a couple hundred bucks 
but these are some nice touches if you're keeping your sub for the, the glorious things it offers you which is a nice smooth reliable put that in quotes if you know how to work on it it's reliable um, so yeah really inexpensive upgrades nice touches um, some are more significant than others especially on the front suspension and that's that's gonna do it those are the three upgrades four upgrades actually that you can do to the Saab 9.5 in particular to really change the way the car feels with confidence now of course if you wanted to go further uh, and do some major upgrades you can do suspension work meaning change out the struts change out the springs and do all of that but uh, that wasn't the premise of this video that's a whole nother subject whether you do coilovers or regular struts shocks whatever it's a whole different ball game so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed the content if you have any comments please comment below and if you guys have any questions you guys can reach out to me not just in the comment section below but you can reach out to me at Kyle Pants on Instagram and uh, smash that subscribe button I'll see you guys next video thanks